Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gaming here, and super excited. I'm going to be testing Kafka here at E0 versus a 4 star character at E6, Serval. Both of them are lightning characters and kind of do like AoE damage. One is Erudition, of course, one is Nihility. The first thing we need to standardize is the Light Cone, and I'll be selecting actually a free to play Light Cone for Mata, which can be gotten from the Light Cone shop from the Memory of Chaos, as well as the Seriousness of Breakfast, the Erudition Light Cone for Serval, which is also free to play. Both here, as you can see, Super Imposition 5, level. 80 on both of them. Now the tricky thing about Eidolons is because here at 3 and 5 you have this additional bonuses that you get for your tracers. So what I had to do was make sure that here is 6889, which translate to be roughly 5667 as well, which is what Kafka has here 5667. Of course, the three major nodes here are open already, and only these four minor nodes are left to be unlocked because Serval here has exactly the same thing. Uh, in my opinion, it's slightly uh, advantageous to Serval because this is an offensive node here, and of course, Kafka's here has two that is unlocked, whereas Serval only has one offensive one. So slightly favoring uh, Serval, but it is what it is. Uh, what relics will I be using? As you can see here, Kafka has this exclamation mark with nothing, but don't be alarmed. I'm actually going to just shift whatever here is onto her when I'm doing testing, and uh, they will be exactly using the exact same gear, so not to worry about that. Uh, what are the main stats I'm using? Uh, let's just go real quick on my head and my hands. I'm going to be using a crit rate on both of them and uh, speed boots as well as lightning damage bonus as well as energy restoration rate. Now I could have like used stack gear with high crit and then like tune it over for Kafka but I just want to give like a super generalistic build. This is not going to be super super well invested. Of course a lot of room for improvement but it gives us a starting ground to do further investigation and analysis on top of that. Just a very quick introduction. So first things first, let's test them out first, both solo. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this memory 12 here, uh, just because it's much more consistent, the damage bonus doesn't favor one over the other. Let's just hop in with a solo test real quick and we'll come back out with something harder as well. See you in a little bit. Does that hurt? Time to say bye. Time to say bye. Okay, so those are some very impressive numbers. Uh, Serval, of course, finished in 29, Kafka finished in 28, but it could be due to like one crit here and more or there. I would say more for both of them like come in roughly close. Uh, Serval was on, of course, on the verge of dying. That's one thing that I want to point out as well. Roughly, I think in the solo test, both of them are pretty even, but solo tests don't really show much. So let's go ahead and jump in to the memory of chaos. Uh, one very important thing that I want to share with the memory of Chaos here is the current rotations buff actually favors Kafka significantly versus Serval. Because here, as you can see, all type rest reduces the target resistance by 30%. Uh, Serval doesn't have that um, uh, in her overall kit, so generally it favors Kafka slightly more compared to Serval, which does not have that 30% rest threat. But I think it's quite interesting to see in a team composition, for example, um, putting in Bronya. We're going to put in, where is my Bronya? Bronya is here. Going to put in Tingyun. Going to put in Luota as well. Just to see a more hyper carry generic comp with good amounts of attack buffing, crit damage buffing as well. Uh, to give it somewhat more catered, uh, to spread it out a little bit to the buffs so it's balanced out across the board. Um, why am I going to be running these characters? Or what am I going to be running them with? 
I'm running Luota here with an E1 to give a bit of attack percentage which benefits both of them. A similar hyper carry kind of style. Uh, what I'm also going to be doing here, as you can see, Bronya, I'm having Dance Dance Dance, pushes them up a little bit. Uh, she has maximum this MTH set which gives more speed to the team, crit damage to both of them as well. And of course, Ting Yun here is going to be using the Light Cone Dance 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 or uh, Planetary Rendezvous rather to give Lightning Damage bonus to both of them. So let's go ahead in the Memory of Chaos. We'll go see them side by side to see which one is better and who outperforms exactly as well. See you in a little bit. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Didn't hurt. I'll see you all. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Welcome, customers. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> we we don't taste the them. <laughs> to guard and defend. Crush them. We venture the storm. Ready to lose to yourself? Guard and you defend. can fight it. Crush them. Or rock with it. Good times. Time to say bye. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. I'll it off with it. <laughs> Lengthen your strength. May as well come out. <laughs> Eternal Super Dead Returns! A thousand wonders to Eternal stay and return! Receive divinity. Assistance is time. Good times. Time to save them. Yeah, there's always a boom. Lend me your strength. Let's settle this. Thousand wonders. Ready to lose your suffering and fight it. Or rock with it. Unavoidable. 
Ready? 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 Lend me your strength. This song's for you. Turn it up. Okay, so now we've actually seen the numbers. It's very, very impressive, I would say. Kafka, of course, won, but uh, we don't really know whether it's due to the memory of Chaos buffs or perhaps due to, uh, for example, uh, maybe a, a few lucky crits here and there. I think that Serva has a pretty respective showing, only being slightly slower if we saw the rounds. Only like two turns slower overall in the memory of Chaos, considering that this is a four-star character that eventually everyone will probably get at E6 as well. Uh, Eidolon 6, of course. Whereas Kafka is a limited character, and if you don't really like super love this character, what we see here actually is that Serval could actually be enough to actually push us through lightning based content. Of course, it's not super fair to Kafka because her playstyle is very, very versatile. As you can see, this was more like a DOT, a hyper, uh, hyper carry comm rather than a DOT comm. She excels much more in, for example, DOT comms, yet she comes out ahead here. Does show for her versatility, but if you are just looking at a pure lightning breaker that you're looking for, I guess the answer is you could just use Serval uh, and the, the other lightning DPSs are not super super critical. They don't like um, blow Serval out of the water and power creep her to entirety yet. And if you are interested in seeing other comparisons, for example, Kafka against Jingyuan, or maybe Jingyuan against Serval to just see the three of them because they feel very, very close roles if you are just specifically looking for lightning break damage. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.